Hello and welcome to this video. Now in this video, if you are accessing Click Science for the very first time, this is exactly what you will see. So this is an orientation on how to set up and configure uh, a couple of steps in order to start using Click Science AI. So first and foremost, uh, you can actually skip these steps for now. I'll do this later, but it is compulsory. You are going to need to do uh, a couple of steps. Okay, so first of all, uh, we're gonna look at configuring the AI integration. So uh, once you go ahead and select Setup AI, you are going to uh, be presented with this pop-up and you will see AI provider. Now from the drop down you've got a number of different uh, AI providers you can choose from. Uh, say for instance you have OpenAI, Gemini, Anthropic, DeepSeek, XAI and Mistral. So you've got a huge number of selections to choose from. So uh, typically uh, these are you know you can have one or more but um, for this example we're going to look at OpenAI. So uh, some of the key things you're going to need is a key name so you can make up anything but this is the key thing you're going to need an API key. So how you're probably thinking how do I get the API key? Well great question. Now down to the bottom left you will see there is a bit of text there with a clickable link. So get your API key from the OpenAI console. Once you select that okay your site you so essentially you have to be uh, signed in um, in order to use this but if you're doing this for the first time um, you may see a different window so just sign in this is the key thing sign in first and you may see a completely different screen but the moment you're signed in just return to this window okay and click the link again and it will bring you directly once you're logged in it will bring you directly to this screen that you're seeing right now and on this screen you will see something called create a new secret key tab you would select that and you type in you know uh, any name so let's just do demo one test and you say create secret key uh, you don't touch anything else select it and then your this pop-up will now appear where it says save your key so this is the api key you can see it starts with sk uh, you can simply go ahead and copy it and you'll see it starts here sk so once you have that key ideally what we now need to do is take that key and enter it into this field here once you enter it simply select validate and save oh we've got to put a key name open ai key and we'll validate and save and what will happen now click sites ai will communicate with um open ai and you will see they'll you know communicate and it'll fetch all that information so straight away you can see configure ai integration has now been completed so fantastic step number one is done okay step number two create workspace now just to quickly touch on configure ai integration so when you are in the dashboard you can actually add uh, other integrations or change them uh, change different defaults if you so desire so you can always come back to it and change it if you want to change accounts so on and so forth okay now next create your first workspace now when you go ahead and select create workspace you will see it'll ask you for a workspace name so you can put anything let's just say my let's just say uh, my my dentist workspace okay one and you'll see um everything that you create in terms of the page will be hosted on click sites ai it will be uh, essentially like a subdomain name so you can see the domain name will be uh, like so click sites pages.com but the subdomain name is the workspace name that you are going to create so you can see my dentist workspace dot click site pages.com now uh, if you do want to have your own custom domain name that's something you can do and once you set up your workspace you can go and you can actually edit and you can um you know uh tailor make your own custom domain name if you haven't uh, your own custom domain name that you want or you already have uh there's also ability to do that level of integration as well okay so that's a little bit more advanced uh, which we will cover later on okay so once you're happy with the basic information uh, all you do is simply select create workspace and that's it and next you can see look start exploring and it'll take you into the dashboard now the very first time as you're in the dashboard you'll see this beautiful screen here which doesn't have any data why because you haven't made any websites yet and no one's visiting them the moment you do have your own site and people are visiting them you will see nice graphs and it'll show you the information and data okay you'll have different data points that you can see first and foremost once you're in aside the site you'll have uh, different levels of uh, well different um, features that you can choose from you know night mode day mode etc etc but there are tutorials on this where we complete a breakdown but just very sh uh, quickly i'll show you you can do day mode and night mode you'll have you know your account settings here privacy uh, where you can manage secure your privacy uh, dashboard all the pages that you create 
okay you'll have integrations uh, so here we can see we have our open AI you can actually add more keys if you want uh, if you want to do other levels of integrations you can do that and it will be the same process where you have clickable links and you can go inside okay uh, also um, you also have a design for artistly and also you'll have different elements of marketing features which I'll show you in just a moment so essentially this is what it will look like uh, let me show you uh, just to get started straight away so uh, if you do go through all the process which I'll show you so show let me show you everything completely open and un unlocked okay so I've just completely switched over so this is an active account and you'll see um, some pages have been made here so this is what you essentially see you see all the data points graphs you know uh, uh, analytic summary and if I come back now to integrations you see this is how it will appear so you'll have uh, AI integrations we'll have design so if you have artistly if you got email marketing uh, apps that you want to connect again it will be the same process you can do it through the uh, API keys and even webinar connections go to webinar or zoom We've got a whole array uh, array of different connections you can choose from okay and also for leads if you're collecting leads and information you can do all of that teams so there are there, there are a, a whole uh, number of tutorials uh, that will cover this and just um, as you go down you'll see the tutorials page there so essentially this is the very first point uh, I wanted to cover especially for the introduction like an orientation and then just to create a page I'll select create uh, a page and we've got a different number of choices so you can use the AI studio uh, AI template or canvas and there's tutorials on there explaining it uh, but for this let's just go for AI studio that's probably the most uh, fastest method possible so let's just say a website selling uh, teeth whitening kits okay oh kits and then you'll just sim simply select generate but you can actually choose from different a number of languages if you want to generate in an, uh, another language uh, and then generate okay and then it'll walk you through the process where it will start to um, formulate ideas it'll give you a breakdown like you can see you know the business information uh, it's already come up with the business name so all of this can be altered you can come and you can make an adjustment uh, if you have any information that you want to change also you've got selected sections so if you have anything you want to add or maybe remove uh, maybe the process testimonials pricing but remember uh, even though you do them here, it will build a site on it, but you can always, once you're in the site, you can go and do a, a, a level of editing, add, remove, and customize, um, you know, for whatever your needs are. So you've got full flexibility regardless uh, what you put in here, but it's just, it's there to make your life as easy as possible and straight away you'll see it's going to start building your website it's going to analyze the information all of the key components all the business information you know, the keywords the breakdown of it all that primary information uh, that it had it's going to go source fetch that information and the ai is going to build a and optimize uh, uh, your site um, based on the information that we input and that it thinks is going to be uh, you know applicable to your request or your needs now needless to say once you're actually in the process of the editor once your website is built and designed uh, we can go and we can do you know uh, as much editing and customization as we so desire uh, even though the pictures are going to be created for you or the images are created from you everything's royalty free the copywriting whatever it may be um, you do have that flexibility of going in and customizing it as much as your heart desires so that's the key the bulk of the work is done for you so whether you're doing this for your own personal or client projects you have that complete flexibility moving forward so what we're doing we give it a few moments to load okay and then we shall return okay so now we have the website it is ready to go okay so uh, once the web website is done we can simply select open studio and it will open up the website studio okay now what you're seeing here is the website itself all the copywriting is done or the imagery etc etc and one you one thing you will see this is not the complete full editor yet uh this essentially will let you just have a little bit of a, a peek a sneak peek looking into the website uh, but the good thing is that what you can do you can make a, a slight adjustment like type typography of the site you can do complete overhaul of the typography uh, of the fonts uh, applicable to the entire website you'll see that in real time as that applies Okay, you can make all of these beautiful edits um, and make adjustments if you want. Also, you do have the ability of changing even the text color. 
Okay, you can see the variations of the header and you can actually add sections and make different modifications. Now, all of this uh, extra ability when it comes to uh, these editors, there's actually a tutorial on this that goes a little bit more deeper, but the, for the purposes of this, uh, you know, it's quick orientation, just showing you how quickly it would look. So once you're happy, you can actually jump in and select edit and you will see with this editor, they are, there's even more functionality uh, when it comes to editing your website, okay? Uh, so you'll see, you know, you can add section blocks. Uh, you can use the AI, AI HTML editor uh, section here. We can actually insert an image and it will be inserted into your site. You've got translation, save section, typography, animations, um, various settings. You've got the AI assistance. You can look at it different, uh, look at the website itself on different devices, even a full preview mode. Um, and you'll see different types of settings throughout where you can actually edit and actually add more sections and blocks to the website and fully build it out. And even if you wanted to add a menu, top menu bar navigation uh, to the site itself so this was a very quick um, overview so once you're happy with that you know you'd save it and then if I once it's saved we'll um, revert back to the home screen okay uh, we go back and then you can see we're on our home screen and straight away we can see this is what we just built bright smiles here you can see the different uh, information where we can edit we can check settings um, especially when it comes to workspace and page information, you know, you can add a favicon, GDPR, affiliate badge, code injections, you know, header scripts, uh, body scripts, meta uh, information, and so on and so forth. So, so, so many possibilities uh, when using this, and then you can actually jump back in and uh, edit. Okay. However, that was a quick um, overview, how to get started for the very first time when using ClickSites AI, okay? So the first key fundamentals are, once you're inside ClickSites, is the key thing is you wanna go to integrations, set up your AI integration first and foremost, okay? You can have multiple different in integrations. Uh, OpenAI is completely free to set up, so that's uh, the key thing that you uh, uh, should do. So any of them, you can go ahead and make sure you get it done. Then the next will be, creating that workspace okay so uh, there's a num number of different ways but you can even go to the the top section here and simply select add workspace or go through the prompt uh, section as we did at the start and then you are ready to go okay and then uh, there will be further tutorials that will break down every component with its pages integration leads teams white label and even the workspace if you want to do some editing look at dns have a custom um a custom workspace uh, and so on and so forth so um hopefully you've enjoyed this uh short introduction and i look forward to um seeing you building out your site so congratulations once again and go ahead now and get started with click sites ai